What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon News Daily, a daily Pokemon show where I go over Pokemon news spamming across all the Pokemon games, including Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Pokemon Quest, Pokemon Go, and of course, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Games. What is up guys, today is Sunday, July 1st, and I am back. If you've been following me on Twitter or Instagram, you might already know, my mic, the one I was using for whatever reason or another, it stopped working. So I'm back using my old mic, which is gonna suck as far as sound quality is concerned. So it may be a little bit different from my last couple of videos, but I'm gonna use this until I can figure out what's wrong with my mic, so bear with me. But enough about that, let's get into the news today. And if of course, I didn't do one of these videos in a while, so we have a lot to talk about. I'm gonna start from what's current today to the last time I did a video, which was probably, I think, Tuesday or whatnot, but let's jump directly into the news. First things first, let's jump into a little bit of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news as a brand new event has been announced for Japan at the Pokemon Centers. It has been confirmed that the mythical Pokemon Jirachi will be given away at Pokemon Centers in Japan from August 1st throughout August 31st, so the whole month of August to celebrate the, I'm gonna probably say this wrong, but Tembae Festival? It's currently unclear what moves or items Jirachi will be holding my little thoughts on it is Japan only I will not be able to get my hands on it I kind of wish they did these event worldwide so players like me who cannot make it out to get these events can but we usually see events like this make break out of worldwide I highly doubt that's gonna be the case with this event because of the fact that one it's a mythical Pokemon two it's on a dying game ultra Sun and ultra moon is gonna be out of here by the time let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee comes out I think the last worldwide event we're gonna see from that game is the Zero Aura event to tie into the movie when we get that worldwide so I wouldn't hold my breath on Jirachi event coming stateside. Now moving into probably the biggest news that's going on right now and that's with Pokemon Go. Yesterday and today there's a Pokemon Go Safari Zone event in Dortmund, Germany. Players are finding a large amount of Rosalina for this event with of course shiny Rosalina being available worldwide as well. In addition to this, there are global research challenges to complete that provide rewards. If all regions complete their challenge, then a three-hour Articuno day will run on July 7th. And as of right now, those research tasks has been complete. So we got catch XP increase, we got raid XP increase, we got hatch XP increase, and we got lucky eggs that last one hour. And of course, we all have that three-hour Articuno day that will run on July 7th. And again, we'll also introduce Shiny Articuno as a possibility so you can go out and catch and add Shiny Articuno to your game. So that's pretty cool as well. Now to focus in on the Safari Zone Global Catch Challenge that's been going on, there's been a lot of issues with it with players not being able to log in, players using incense and crashing their games and stuff like that. Now as of recording, it looks like all of those issues have been solved. So yeah, I feel sorry for the people that actually went out there to play Pokemon Go and actually couldn't because of whatever reason there was too many people playing at once and crashing the game or whatnot but as of right now it seems like that's not the case I would say please guys if you are out there a lot of people are saying don't go to the park that Niantic is at they're having a lot of problems there to so just travel about in the city and play Pokemon Go there because one you could raid there there's gonna be a lot more Pokestops in the city area a lot more lawyers up because a lot of people are out there playing so i would recommend that but leave your war stories in the comment section below because i know a lot of people are affected by this not even people that are in that area so and i wanted to add this clip because i think it's pretty cool coming from pokemon go hub.net's twitter account and for people who say that pokemon go is dead look at this crowd out there for the safari zone event 2018 edition go ahead go ahead look because it's it, to me it's hilarious it's like pokemon go is far from 
a dead game. Also coming from Pokemon Go Hub, a Celebi special research event has leaked by our man Charles who does the deep dive inside of the Pokemon Go has found that attendees attending Pokemon Go Fest 2018 will have a chance to catch the mythical Pokemon Celebi. So Celebi will be coming as a five part special research quest in Pokemon Go during Pokemon Go Fest. Now if you do not want to be spoiled I will not spoil it here. I am going to leave the link in the description below to the article so you can see the five part quest and the missions and the conversations that is held between Professor Willow and yourself inside of this Pokemon Go quest, this special research. I would say check it out if you're interested in preparing but again also if you don't want to be spoiled you don't have to click it. I will not spill the beans here. Also in the news we got Pokemon World Championship details for the 2018 Pokemon World Championship. As usual you need to register to spectate and spectate your badges cost $10. With that you also get two boost packs which is pretty good. It says in addition to that the Pokemon DX tournament last chance qualifiers which will cost you 30 which provides six boost packs of cards which is cool and there's also a Nashville opener a competition for championship points in the 2018-2019 season. A stream will also be available once we get details on that I will be doing another video to update you guys on that if you want to check it out. In Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee news the official Japanese site has showcased two new customization options for Pikachu and Eevee. These let you attach certain items such as flowers to your Pokemon's ears, bodies, and tail and we have some pre-release screenshots with th these images as well as a small video showcasing Pikachu and Eevee wearing these items. While we're here talking about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee it has been announced that the games will be showing up at the Japan Expo in Paris France on July 5th throughout July 8th. While the game won't be playable at the event they're said to be stage presentations daily for the games. It's currently unclear if it's going to provide new information or what we will actually see so be on the lookout throughout those dates for potentially news dropping about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. Jumping back into Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon news as well as Pokemon Sun and Moon news because you can actually get these Pokemon within those games it has been confirmed that Tornaris and Thunderous are to be distributed as next month's part of the year of the legendary Pokemon. We knew this in Europe in Australia it will be available over the Nintendo network so you guys are just need to log into your games and be able to download these Pokemon into the game from July 6th throughout July 22nd. In Sun and Ultra Sun you will be able to receive Thunderous and Moon and Ultra Moon you will receive Tornadoes. In Sun and Moon the Pokemon Pokemon are at level 60 while in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon they are level 100 with a golden bottle cap. And it's also been confirmed in the United States you're gonna have to get a serial code through the Target stores from July 13th to July 28th. I will be doing a updated video separately on this to kind of gather people together in one video to kind of put out a PSA to have people go to Targets to pick up these codes especially for people who aren't able to do so. You guys remember my situation when I head out to New York specifically to get these codes at Target and I wasn't able to do so. Those workers at Target didn't even know what I was talking about at the time and Jesus Christ like uh, it was a mess. And lastly just to sum up the last bit of news today Pokemon Quest is available to download on mobile devices. It was first released on the Nintendo Switch last month. I did a basically impressions video on Pokemon Quest. I will be doing more videos on Pokemon Quest on this channel. I have done the first 20 minutes of gameplay on my mobile device put it up there for you guys so if you want to see how it runs on mobile you can I have a video up I'm gonna have that linked in the description just in case you want to check it out it pretty runs the same I would say it does hiccup more than what it does on the Nintendo switch sometimes it gets real slow and framey but it does look identical as it does on the Nintendo switch no I am playing on a Samsung Galaxy s7 I'm not playing on new tech nah, I'm not playing on the 8 nor the 9 my 7 should it run PUBG Mobile very well so it should be able to run a game like Pokemon Quest but again this is the first build of the game and probably gonna get patches to smooth that stuff out so I wouldn't be too worried on it. Let me know your thoughts on Pokemon Quest in the comment section below. Now that's gonna do it for today's Pokemon News Daily. I Again I gotta say I'm sorry for the sound quality and how this 
sounds comparative to the intro and the outro. You're going to hear the difference. Let me know your thoughts on everything regarding this week's in Pokemon news. I know this is a daily show and I'm supposed to be doing it daily and I do want to shoot for that. So I'm going to still continue calling it a daily show. And tomorrow I will be doing a video with all the news that comes out today and stuff like that. So look, be on the lookout for that. Like always guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.